Hello everyone and welcome back to more Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon Blind and in this episode we are going to be going to Bamboo Terrace I think it was after unlocking uh, Bentley in the last episode as you know there was a particular area in there for him which I couldn't do in the last couple of episodes and yes that's what we're going to be doing obviously I've already said that <laughs> Uh, never mind. Coming tree at the very beginning always goes off a bit rough. What? All right. Oh, fair enough. I thought that was gonna be like a cutscene or something happening there. Thank you ever so much for opening. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you very much. I've already done my stuff, so can I just please get straight to the point of whereabouts this guy is that needs the task that needs to be done? I think. Um, I believe it's over here, isn't it? At least as as far as I'm aware, that's where I remember seeing it last. Um, why is it always when it comes to cutting back? Oh wait, no, here it is. Fair enough. <laughs> but whenever it comes back to me finding things, I'm like, I'm gonna be going there, guys, and I can never find the bloody thing. Ah, a fine day for a bit of a walk. I was just heading to the top of my favourite hill. Ah, oh, okay, fair enough. Off you go, Bentley. And that appears to be Bentley's theme, does it? Hello. Hey! I think I saw some Rhinox run up to the top of that hill with an egg! Oh, really? Buff... Buff Holomew. <laughs> oh boy, that's cool. Oh, I guess then I'm just gonna smash some more stuff, am I? <laughs> I love it when you just smash stuff in video games. It's like the Godzilla of games, you know. In fact, was there one game I remember playing uh, with a friend once, I think? It was Godzilla Unleashed for the PlayStation 2. It was basically just a beat-em-up but with dinosaurs and maybe I won't enjoy it as much now because the gameplay is actually very mediocre I think but I haven't really played it in ages so I can't really say for sure but I loved it just seeing Godzilla and all these other famous monsters you know duke it out on these buildings making things smash and stuff that to me was amazing at least that's what I guess I was amused by when I was a kid back in the day you know just that kind of thing just impressed me alongside Power Rangers and things like that, which pretty much dominated my childhood. I don't know about you, but that's what it did for me anyway. You know what, actually, and I don't know why, why is it always this game reminds me of things from games? It, it, it just does for some reason, because this place reminds me a lot of, um, damn it, I've got the name of it. I think it was called Tiny Huge Island from Mario 64. You know the bits that you run up with those little black balls um, heading towards you and things. It reminds me a lot of that and also these bounce. Marvelous. But never mind, I can just smash them out of my way because I am clearly a god <laughs> at smashing things. At least that's what I think anyway. So it reminds me of that because, you know, it's just like the scale and things apart from us being huge instead of really small. Speaking of which, I need to get back to Mario 64 at some point. I've beat that game a bajillion times, though. That's for sure. In fact, a uh, fun fact, actually. Unlike others who first experienced Mario 64, you know, for the first time on the original N64 themselves and played it as a kid and whatnot, I actually first experienced the DS version, Super Mario 64 DS, with the additional characters like Yoshi, Luigi, and Wario and stuff like that, you know? I didn't, I didn't ever really grow up with the N64 version of things. I grew up with that version instead, which had a lot more going on. You know, for a start, you know, the N64 version had 120 power stars. The DS version has 150. <laughs> Quite a lot compared to it. And that, considering the fact that, you know, in most Mario games, it's 120, so it's quite a big step. Jesus Christ, that blew me away far, didn't it? And again, and death! And weird camera angle, what? <laughs> oh, man. I'll be honest, though, when it comes to Mario games and stuff, my favorite Mario game, like, well, at least 3D Mario, as far as I'm aware, is Super Mario Sunshine for the GameCube. Oh my god, I love that game. It may be difficult, and sure, yeah, it may not be as polished as things like Super Mario Galaxy and stuff, but to me, I just love Super Mario Sunshine. I like how the difficulty is challenging and stuff like that. I love the fact that, you know, the flood, the uh, Flesh Liquidizer Ultra Dowsing device and that is really useful. Like, even though it's just a simple gimmick added, it's really useful for, like, learning how to sequence break and use shortcuts and stuff like that. 
just, you know, using the, the floods to your best advantage and things. It just, I don't know, it just makes sense. And also, what angle do I have to be to get this egg? Jesus. <laughs> Except I realise I got all the gems and... What? Wait, what? Wait, where is it? Where? You in there? You in there? Oh, is that everything? <laughs> it's everything. Well, cool. Well, that area then was pretty short, really. Reminded me a lot of the Tiny Huge Island, like I said. Well, then, I guess that's it for this area? <laughs> well, that wasn't bad, was it? Never mind. <laughs> well, at least now I've 100%ed uh, Midday Garden Worlds. So that's my main. Also, come oh, here, you stupid thing. What? I swear you just glitched through the thing then. That was strange. But cool. Well, I guess then we're almost back to Evening Lake. Let's see why not. Ah, uh, might as well just take a level like this. So actually, no, wait, no, 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 no. The, the portal's right there, isn't it? Yeah, let's just exit out in style. It's better that way, just seeing him soar off on the horizon, you know, exiting the level things. I also like how when you enter the level in that, the backgrounds are, you know, just used to set the main background for the level. Like if it's red or something, or something like that, anyway. Like Jacques, uh, Jacques, sorry, from, um... Spyro the Dragon, the first game at least. I guess that's what I believe anyway. I could be wrong about that, but never mind. Yeah, even tells me it right here. Everything so far, everything in sunrise and midday, all that's left is e midnight. Oh, there's midnight. I see. That's where the night appears. Fair enough. In the game, not in general. <laughs> I know what midnight is. Don't think I'm that stupid. <laughs> okay, right, cool. Well, evening lake it is. I haven't, it's not really much of a lake though, is it? It's more like a massive freaking uh, river or ocean and that for me to swim around in. Usually a lake's quite shallow, like a little stream, but that is pretty huge, if you ask me. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, total treasure, 3,683, huh? It probably would be more than that if money bags did not want any gems, particularly in a... Uh, I don't know why there's slow down there, sorry. In Frozen Altars, where he wanted a thousand freaking gems. Before you know it, it's going to be over 9,000, isn't it? <laughs> oh boy. Anyways. Um, so, what is next after this bit of land that I have conquered? I don't know. <laughs> um... 483 out of 6 out. Oh, wait. I've got to go back to Frozen Altars, haven't I? Well, you know what? I'm going to do that then. I'm just going to hop out in Frozen Altars and get this last bit of gems with Bentley. I don't see why not. And that'll call it the end of this episode. It's pretty much just backtracking this one. I don't mind backtracking in some games, but honestly, you know, if there's too much backtracking involved, it's not really sometimes the game for me or something like that. Speaking of backtracking and stuff, I, I need to get back to Donkey Kong 64 at some point. That's a good game. Or at least, um, I find it a good game in that. It's, I don't know though, I, I lack a lot of motivation to play that game. The same with Kingdom Hearts and things. There's some games that I play, but I just never really come back to for some reason. I don't know why. I also need to get back to Abe's Exodus as well. That's a fun, fun game for an odd world title. <laughs> Anyway, right, let's just skip past all these enemies and... Ugh, Jesus, I love these tusks just dig into the ground. I mean, it makes sense, I suppose, because it is snow. And let's see what Bentley's task is. Because I believe Bentley was at the end. Uh, let's see, he was snowman. Ignore the bird! No, 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 ignore the sexy talking bird and let's just melt the snowman, please. Gems! Gems! I missed the gems right there, are you kidding me? Oh, so there was that secret area that I missed, so I was missing a couple of things beforehand. My bad. Oh boy, I need to... And there's an egg! Jesus! I was really... What the hell was I doing? <laughs> I don't even know what I was doing. I need to... I need to work out what I'm looking at half the time, man. Um... Right. So, how would I reach that? That is the question. And there's other gems there, too. I missed out on a ton of stuff, so... I... I need to find a way then, in order to get round that, so I can go on there. That's fine by me. You know, I'll do that as well as finding Bentley. I just 
for that, and then that'll be the end of this area, hopefully. It's a shame, though, because I do like this area. Also, why did that ice not smash? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, boy. Anyways. Jesus Christ. Oh, wow! <laughs> I actually died. Oh, boy. Never mind. Let's see, is it going to put me back in the level? Uh, beginning? No, it's not. Uh, there's Bentley right there. I, I don't know. Should I get the gems or Bentley? Bentley. Freaking Bentley. Let's just go for Bentley. <laughs> I get those gems at the very end because I'm not too sure what ah, I'm supposed to do. Spyro. I've just received word from my little brother. He appears to be having some trouble with a yeti. Huh? Really? What? Fat dumb yeti took my ball. I told him to give it back or you'd kick his lousy butt, but he wouldn't listen. Oh dear. <laughs> Fight? Uh, I guess so, so no. Oh, boxing. I know you do it. Go and show him not to mess with us. Remember to block his eye punches and hit him low when he tries to block. Um, okay, so it's basically like punch out this, isn't it? Okay. Fair enough. Oh, so it tells me about it here. Okay, use square button for a quick jab. Yeah, it's punch out, basically. Use the X button for a body blow. Use soak button for the big hookaroo, okay. To block high. Bentley blocks low automatically. Ah, okay. Alright then. Oh my god, it's that thing from Spyro 2. That's so cool. Let's try doing the Bentley thing. There we go. Take that. Dude, are you actually going to do anything? I was going to say. I was like, what? Block like this, dude. There we go. Oh wow, he's going to block too, is he? Fair enough, fine. I'm just going to dick you in the face, because why not? Eh? <laughs> you completely missed then, didn't you? Oh boy, and you're going to do it low as well, are you? Well, that's fine by me. Take that. There we go. I am the Rocky Balboa of the people, I guess. That was it? Really? That was easy, man. Wait, what? <laughs> you really showed him. Hey, wait a minute, this isn't my ball. Oh, what? i got to do it again? Is that right? Oh, wait, oh, I get an egg anyway. Let me guess, there's three rounds to this, because there's three rounds of boxing, and Jesus Christ, that's like ticker. You should go back and kick his butt again. Make him give me my ball back. This time it will be a free round match, and when you win, don't let him send you off with a stupid egg. <laughs> Fair enough, so now I need to beat this guy in free goes, do I? Alright, bring it on, and also I can move around, I didn't even know that up until now. Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> okay, now, so, oh wow. He's actually, he's stepping up his game, isn't he? Jesus. <laughs> also, I swear he just made the same noise as, um... Oh, God damn it! What's that dude's name? The one from Spyro 2. Damn it, I forgot the I forgot the dude's name and all, but, um... Crush, I think his name was? Yeah, I think it was Crush. The blue dragon guy that was actually pretty fearsome, I believe. Alright, let's just hit you in the face. Come on, dude! Let me do something, at least. Let's wait, if I just stay in the corner, I've noticed he just does this, doesn't he? Is that right? I don't know, man. <laughs> If I am getting my face de dealt with to myself, aren't I? Okay, X. Yeah, X does that one, doesn't it? The low punch, I see. So variety on punches, basically, will take this guy out, right? I think, anyway. <laughs> nope, <laughs> he won the first round, oh dear. That's not good. Only two more rounds to go. You're doing great. What are you talking about? That was terrible. Don't lie. I know you're supposed to give me support, but don't lie like that. That's not very nice. Because that just makes me feel bad about myself, you know? Alright, anyway, right. Uh, so, blocking, maybe? <laughs> None of this is working, man! None of this is working at all. Alright. Okay, now I have not got this, and I need to practice this. This is going to be heavily edited, isn't it? Jesus Christ. Alright, anyway. Blockity block. Blocking, maybe? Alright, anyway. Anyway, I found a strategy. Hit me one more time. There we go. Keep doing it. Go. There we go. Yeah, that's, this, this appears to work. Just just keep going for these Bentley punches and then just keep blocking. There we go. Sort of, anyway. There we are. Right. Okay. Oh, wait. Am I actually going to do it? Oh, no, I'm not. Fair enough. <laughs> I thought I had time to do it then. Unfortunately not, but never mind. Okay. Come on, hit the guy. Well, God damn it. This is the last round! Finish him off! 
Uh, that's not gonna happen. Look at my health compared to his, man. So at least our uh, health restores, so that's fine by me. <laughs> oh boy, never mind then. Okay, mine out for your punch. Oh wow, whoops, I clicked the wrong button. <laughs> Wait a minute, I've noticed something. He blocks when he does that, doesn't he? There we go, right, okay, so now he does that. And then, oh wow, you're gonna do that, really? <laughs> it's not, dude, it's hard to know what you're doing. <laughs> Oh boy, never mind. Okay, let's get you in the face. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, I think this guy's won this round, hasn't he? He has most definitely won this round by far. Okay, right. Yep. <laughs> Congratulations, well done, and this is gonna be heavily edited, isn't it? This is gonna be some trial and error, man. You lost! Oh, some brother you are! I'm never gonna see my ball again, am I? <laughs> I'm, s I'm really sorry, alright? But I've never done boxing before, surely? This time it'll be a free round match, and when you win, don't let him send you off with a stupid... Yeah, I know, I get the picture. Alright, let's do this! Ah, oh, damn it, it's the first round. Alright. Only two more rounds to go. You're doing great! No, I'm not. Don't lie. Haha! Uh, -ha, got you that time, didn't I? Hmm. This is the last round. Finish him off. I'll try. I'll give it a go. Not promising you anything, man. But let's just do it. Just keep doing this. <laughs> just keep pressing circle and hope for the best, man. That way you don't know what the heck he's gonna do, do you? There we are. All right. Okay. Finish him off, you say? As long, if I can, that is. <laughs> as long as he stops blocking, Jesus, he's good with blocking than that, isn't he? Alright. Okay, and now, one more hit, maybe? Will this work? Oh, wait, no, maybe not. Jesus. Let me hit you, dude. No! You can't win at the last minute. Yeah! There we are! That wasn't too bad, that only took two tries. <laughs> I'm serious. Hey! This isn't my ball! It's just oh, another stupid what? egg! You gotta be kidding me! There's another round? Wow. <laughs> There's another round, is there? Is that right? I think, anyway. Is it? Is that all of them? Cross the rooftops? Box the Yeti, box the Yeti again. This isn't my... So after all that, you didn't get your ball back. Let me just go back in there for a second. Hang on, wait. What? Ooh, I found my ball. I'd forgotten I lent it to Eugene yesterday. Oh, for <laughs> no flip's done, sake. No harm done. That guy just got boxed in the face for no reason. <laughs> well, God damn it. And what? All oh, right, oh, fair enough. I thought he was going to get me back into it again. Well, that wasn't too bad. It only took me, like... Honestly, when I said the moment, you know, oh, I'm going to have to cut this out, the second time I did it, I did it. That wasn't too bad, really. It was all right. Well, I guess I'm going to end the episode off here, then. In the next episode, Aspire a free year of the dragon. Um, Now that we've done that mission, I'll be getting those last bits of gems that I somehow missed. Take care, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode, Aspire a free year of the dragon. Ugh, sorry. I'll see you in the next one. <coughs> Ooh, I found my ball. I forgot I lent it to Eugene yesterday. Oh, for no harm for done, right? sake. No harm done. That guy just got boxed in the face for no reason. <laughs>